Welcome to another episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. In this episode, we'll be looking at the new CatScan Mass RFID Audit feature. To complete this demonstration, I'll be using the Zebra MC55AO series device and using the Zebra RFD5500 RFID sled attachment. An alternative device you could use would be the Zebra MC3190Z. I'll also be using a combination of RFID tags. We'll be using the famous Hardcat RFID playing cards as well as other tag types as shown in the picture. Now let's jump into CatScan and see how this great new feature works. Within the CatScan Asset submenu, there are two new options, Mass RFID Audits and RFID Asset Locator. Today we'll be looking at the first option. To open, simply double tap on the Mass RFID Audit to open the feature. With the screen now open, we are presented with multiple buttons and features. The first step in any Mass Audit is to set the location that you intend to audit by either selecting the Location button, scanning a location barcode, or selecting via the recently used icon to the right. Now that we have selected a location, you'll notice the tag's expected number has increased from zero. The number of assets CatScan will expect to find in the area based on the last known configuration data sent from Hardcat. To commence the audit, press the Start button to engage the RFID scanner. With the scanner now engaged, you'll be hearing popping sounds. These sounds indicate that a new tag has been found. As RFID tags are identified, the tags found count will increase. Found tags will also be displayed in the list. The list can show unaudited assets uh, for the specified location, shown in green. A location mismatch where the tag is found, but the known Harcat location is not the one specified in this audit, they're shown in red. Already audited assets for the location are shown in grey, and unknown are shown in blue. To disable the RFID function, it's as simple as pressing the stop button. With this list of identified RFID tags found, we can now go through and audit automatically the found tags, the one shown in green, by clicking the audit button. This will audit all the records specified. If necessary, we can now also go and audit other tags. If we had red tags in the list, we could audit those as well and their location would be changed to the location based on the bulk audit. The other features that we have within the Mass RFID screen the ability to restrict our found tag list by either asset code, asset type, asset type name, cost center code, cost center name, location, location name, person name, RFID tag, barcode, asset description. The other two features available to the Mass RFID audit screen are discard and reset. The discard button allows you to drop off records by simply ticking the tick boxes next to an asset and clicking the discard button. That then drops those two assets or selected assets off the list. Alternatively you can click reset which drops all assets off the list allowing us to restart our audit from scratch. Thank you for watching this episode of Hardcat Feature Focus. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact Hardcat support at support at www.hardcat.com